Olga box clips. What do the VL1, 2, and 3 mean on the chart lesson 5? That's pretty straightforward. So VL1, 2, and 3. So these are the major levels auto done for me. That's it. That's all you need to know. If you're a support and resistance person, um, these are all kind of crunched up up here. Well, obviously why, right? It's, they're just um, support and resistance levels, dynamic, and also have a component of volume in them, right? So why doesn't this VL1, why isn't this showing right here? Right? Why isn't it shown right here? I have specific rules around why these are here, like why this one shows up right here, down here, versus anywhere else. Like some people would draw theirs right here, some people draw them right here. They're dynamic volume level support and resistances. That's what the VL stands for. Volume level support and resistance at those points. So to answer that question, they're, they're just places for, if you're looking for a longer target, you're looking to target some of those. Okay, and that works on any level. Okay, it's relative volume. Okay, relative. So targeting, okay? Things that I wanna target. In our system on Algobox, we are gonna draw these out for you. We're drawing them ahead of time, right? I want to put my targets out there on PRZ. These are PPRZs, okay? This is predicted PRZ zones, and I'm looking for a position to push out into these locations. This is a perfect opportunity for me to do that. There's a couple things that I wanna show for some of those things, including VL1, 2, and 3. Now, I normally do not like VL1, 2, and 3 on my lowest time frames, but if you have them, and I know a lot of people are putting them on their charts, you know, it's fine if you want to use them. I do not use these for entries. This is the main thing I want to talk about with these, okay? People have been asking about VL1, 2, and 3s. These are, you know, your typical support resistance stuff. Ours also includes volume, so that's why they're called VL. These are volume levels that are included on these to me they kind of they, they tend to when I'm in, when I'm real small like this in my charts there are there start to be a few too many lines on my chart see it gets a little to me it's a little bit messy and I don't know that these are that super important but if you are using them and if you like them and if your screens are set up where they're a little bit larger um, then you may be able to keep that and I wish I would have been able to add to that position there but here we go we're coming up into our PRZs already uh, we heard the cha-ching sound so our stop already moved up now we have another white cross back here so what should we be doing I'm gonna move my stop up back behind the white cross again I wish it would have added that position but as far as targeting I am moving my targets up into either VL 1 2s and 3s if you see those those can be used as targets or PRZs so VL 1 2 and 3 remember please do not use those for entries let me say that one more time these are basically support resistance zones do not use these as entries. This is a total new move. Do not do this, folks. Okay, this is what they teach you in kindergarten class. And by kindergarten class, I mean every scammer out there. Okay, we love you guys, scammers. You guys hand us all of our money. We really appreciate you guys, um, you know, donating to our cause. But folks, do not enter in on SR lines. Okay, support and resistance. The only thing that works about support and resistance is it doesn't work. Do not use support and resistance. We are going to bust through those areas. That's why we use them for targets. Do not use them for entries. I'll use them for targets. That is what makes you pro. Pro move only for targets. Got that? VL1, 2, and 3. Only for targets, not for entries. So, in a case like this, if I've got my VL1, 2, and 3 out here, do you see there's VL1, but I want something bigger? Look what lines up right here. Okay, zoom in. Do, can you see what's lining up? I got my zone right there. I've got my zone right here. Okay, this is the meat of my target. So, when I want to throw out my target out to this area, this is where now I might decide, okay, I want to pull my target in and I'm going to put it into the meat of this zone right about here all right let's see if this is going to work for us live and on the fly here this evening what is this called pop quiz time while we are here and having to wait for this trade to go what is this what is this combo C -c 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 combo kill all right pop quiz time what is it? headshot give yourself a pat on the back if you caught the hmd in there as well congratulations you've got a little hmd Right in there, you got the dot, you got a little mini PRZ, okay? HMD, you got the cross within striking distance of this sucker here, within a few bars now. Is this a perfect headshot? No, target well, do I killed. count it as a headshot? I do. All right, here we go. We're going into our targets here. Now, if this trade were to break down on me, obviously I'm not giving away nothing. So at this point, this is where I start to lock in my targets, rock, I mean lock in my profits, okay? So my worst case scenario, I'm locking in the profit up underneath those PRZ zones. Let's see if we get all the way up and in there. I believe we will, but there it is. All right, targets filled. Press the like button.
share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn. Watch this next video.